sports. It's in the game. Think about the in the game. Well, this is it, an occasion of true grandeur. The date has been ringed in red for months now, and the stage is set here in the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. My name is Derek Ray, my co-commentator to help describe all the action is, of course, Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the magnificent Estadio Metropolitano. It is Juventus facing Barcelona. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs, but it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never 
actually played in the Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what the feeling, we can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? Bianconeri tend to be loved or hated by Italian fans, depending on their point of view. What's your take, Lee? Well, I must have told you this before. My favourite Italian team. I just love everything about Juventus. I had a kit when I was a, a little boy, a black and white strip that my dad bought me. I used to wear it all the time. That was my Ipswich kit, believe it or not, as well. So, I uh, just love everything about the team. They are iconic colours. And I must say, it really is a privilege to commentate from this modern stadium in the eastern part of Madrid in the Rosas neighbourhood. And it's set to be Atletico's home for many decades to come, Lee. Well, it's a lovely, lovely stadium. I was lucky enough to play in the old stadium, the Calderon, but this is special. Definitely a place I'd love to play. might well be one to savour. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. And here for you today, Juventus against Barcelona. Very much a club with a tradition, Alan, of playing three central defenders, Juventus. They are, and uh, their success really has been built on that, hasn't it? But those three in question not getting any younger can't come to this ground without feeling the sense of history around Juventus the old lady and it is brilliant for us from outside to breathe in all that history yeah and the first time I've visited this place and so pleased to be able to come here Juventus a famous old club and this stadium does it justice our referee is Lutz Getzoffer with Mandzukic, Dybala, Cristiano Ronaldo, and the defender takes care of business, Joao Cancelo, here's Ronaldo, Ronaldo, and they've only gone and applied that finishing touch, well he was tested and he passed the test, Here's the replay, he didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really, but it's in the back of the net. The first statement of the night, 1-0. Both teams back in position now. We're looking rather tired as we finish regulation time but they, I'm sure, will be revitalised for the extra period we're underway. 
Got room to hit this. Oh, it's Ronaldo. Well, that's a goal worth celebrating. A goalkeeper who looked as though he would be able to keep them out the whole game. Well, he's, he's done his part, more than his part, the goalkeeper, but he couldn't keep them out forever. Another angle on it here. It's Juventus in front. And he gets it returned to him. If he scores, they win. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. What a night. Well, they're not going to forget this sort of hurry. A proud moment for the losers that's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred well just a point Derek always be respectful of the losers yes you're in raptures you're celebrating with your mates always took time to go to the opposition and say unlucky the party has started it's going to be quite the night of celebration here and they know what comes next, the presentation of the cup with the big ears. Well, you just think how many games they've played this season as well. All that's in the past now. The game that's just happened was the most important one. They're all poised. The Champions League winners in 2019. can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories now the chance for a photograph my mum always told me to get on the front row she taught you well Lee there we have it, the Champions League victors for 2019. It's good work between these two. Juventus have got the win here. Well, this goes against the conventional football wisdom, doesn't it? To win the game with less players than the opposition. Fantastic effort. It just goes to show if you keep your heads, if you reorganise, you can still be a force. They certainly proved that out here.
Oh, 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 oh,